Hello, I'm David Boyer, Dan Foss Service Trainee Coordinator. I will explain to you about how the automatic energy optimization feature works in a Dan Foss VLT drive. Please take a moment now to pause the video to read the safety warnings shown here. Failure to follow these warnings could result in death or serious injury. Okay, AEO, the automatic energy optimization. Let's explain what that is. Let's understand first that motor current has two components. There's the reactive current, also called the magnetizing current, and then there's the real current, or also called the torque producing current. The magnetizing current, that's what generates the rotating magnetic field in the stator windings, which drives the rotor. Basically makes a big spinning magnet, and at the full volts to hertz ratio, that magnetizing current is fixed regardless of the load, whereas the torque producing current is dependent on the load and produces enough current to produce enough torque to drive the motor. Now, when operating at reduced load, full magnetizing current's not required. And that's going to happen frequently with uh, fans and pumps. They're designed to run uh, at reduced speed. You'll certainly be at reduced load. And then also with things like dampers and valves closed. So what the AEO function does, it continually monitors the load requirements and, when possible, reduces the magnetizing current. It does that by reducing motor voltage to optimize efficiency. The benefits of that, of course, are energy savings up to an additional 5%. That lower motor current means less thermal stress, which extends the motor life. Same is true for other components like the drive. Anything that's carrying less current, it's going to last longer. Another nice added benefit is the fact that, um, that lower current is going to reduce audible noise. The motor is going to run quieter. Some things to be aware of, you can't use the AEO function when you're running multiple motors in parallel on a single drive. Say, for example, a fan wall or something. Uh, that just won't work. Just use variable torque. Um, it's very important to enter the correct motor data and do that automatic motor adaptation in order for the AEO feature to accurately calculate how much it can reduce voltage. If these aren't done, uh, the motor may be under-magnetized. What will happen then is excess slip, actually an increase in motor current, and the motor can possibly stall out entirely. Uh, parameter adjustments. AEO function is selected in parameter 103. There's two choices there, AEO variable torque or AEO constant torque. Choose the right one for your application. And this can be turned on and off while the drive is running. If you want to know what that AEO feature is going to do, you can run your drive to full speed under normal circumstances and then just turn that on and watch your motor voltage drop, watch your uh, motor current drop, and see how that works for you. As far as that under-magnetizing and stalling and different troubles that can happen, you can limit minimum allowed voltage reduction can be defined in parameter 1441 and that's as a percentage of whatever voltage is called for for that speed so you can uh, correct some trouble that way by just putting in a low limit for how low that voltage can go sometimes at very low speeds the AEO does not act properly the minimum speed at which AEO activates is defined by parameter 1442. So at lower speeds, you can just have the drive run normally. Now, some common related tech support calls. I've been in uh, tech support for many years, and I would regularly get the call. Um, somebody's doing an installation or doing some troubleshooting, and they measure their motor voltage. And then they call tech support and say, hey, I've got a problem with my drive. It's not putting out full voltage to the motor. That is likely because AEO function is active. And like I said, that can be changed on the fly. I would guide them to parameter 103. Turn that AEO off. Just turn it to variable torque. And they say, oh, my, by golly, there it goes. My drive's putting out full volts. Everything looks happy. Sometimes they'll say, 
during a commissioning. My drive is hitting current limit before reaching full speed. Um, same thing. Or uh, my drive claims to be running at 60 hertz. It's not showing any warnings. Everything looks great. But I'm looking at the fan and I know it's not going full speed. That's another consequence of uh, AEO being too active. It is reducing voltage by too much and the motor's actually stalling. Here is an illustration from the manual showing AEO. The green line is the drive ramping up to its reference speed, say 60 hertz. It follows the volts to hertz ratio until it gets to full speed and then AEO becomes active and reduces that voltage and along with it reduces motor current. Now here I have some actual MCT10 oscillograms showing the same thing. Over here uh, 103 is set to variable torque. Uh, volts and Hertz follow a straight line ramp up until full volts, full Hertz. That is, uh, you can see over here, 60 Hertz at 230 volts. It's a 230 volt motor. They get there and they just stay. They maintain. Um, now we have auto energy optimization active. Uh, motor frequency still ramps up to 60 Hertz and maintains. But look at what your motor voltage is doing. Once it gets to full speed, it starts doing calculations. This is a very lightly loaded motor, and it reduces that voltage in order to optimize efficiency. And look how much the current comes down with it. This is running at 60 hertz, and the motor voltage is only 88 volts. That's how lightly loaded that motor was. That is automatic en energy optimization. I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for listening. Thank you for viewing. We hope this information has been helpful. Dan Foss Drives can provide additional technical support, parts information, or repair services options by contacting us through one of the following methods. For immediate access to customer service or a technical support expert in North America, call 1-888-DANFOSS or 1-888-326-3677 or contact us through email. For technical support, the email address is drives.ts.na at danfoss.com. For customer service, the email address is drives.cs.na at danfoss.com. For after-sales service, the email address is drives.ts.service.na at danfoss.com. Additional information is also available on our website at www.danfossdrives.com. For contact information in areas outside of North America, please visit our global website at www.danfoss.com. Thanks again.